everyone, welcome back. This week I wanted to do a review of all of the foundations that I've tried out so far. High-end foundations and drugstore foundations. And these are just like overall all of the foundations that I have used over the years. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the drugstore foundations. The first one is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup. This one here. It is in the shade uh, 60 or natural beige and what I had to say about this foundation is that I feel like it's super super cakey you can't layer on much because the consistency is super thick so it is pretty thick I don't know if you guys can tell but it is full coverage it does cover up all my dark spots and acne scars so that's good about this foundation, but it just, it feels like it's really thick on the skin and you just feel, well for me, I feel really cakey when I use this foundation. Claims that it won't clog pores and is hypoallergenic and controls shine with natural looking coverage. I mean, if you use a tiny, tiny bit of this, I feel like it's not too cakey, but I still don't like the way it looks on my skin. It is a blemish treatment, so it does help reduce acne. The next drugstore foundation that I bought, I just bought this like three days ago. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and this is in the shade 220 or natural beige. It says for normal to oily skin and mine is a combination of both. I absolutely love this foundation. It gives great coverage. It conceals all my dark spots. It makes my face look extremely like flawless finish. I would say I really do love this foundation. This foundation it goes on great and you don't need a lot of it to get a good coverage and it feels like you have nothing on your face so that's a good thing. It only takes a little bit of this product to go on really well on your face and give you great coverage and if you want to layer it on, layer it on for more coverage it allows you to because it doesn't feel too heavy. It just feels natural and lightweight. And this product claims to mattify and refine pores, which it does mattify. So it doesn't have like a dewy finish. This right here, this is just highlight. So it's not from the foundation and it doesn't go on dewy and like really shiny. It matches natural tone, which I feel like it does. It says natural seamless finish. It gives you a natural finish. It doesn't look like I have way too much product on. It doesn't look cakey or anything. So I feel like it really does what it says it does. And it is a great drugstore foundation. And if you're looking for a great drugstore foundation that's cheap, this one's only, I believe, I got it for almost $6 at Walmart. So, and the Neutrogena one was about like 10 9 something, yeah, I think it was like $10. Uh, I'll link down where you could get them and the price is down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out. Now moving on to the more high-end foundations, I am going to start with the Artistry Lifting Smoothing Foundation and it has SPF 20 in it and the bottle looks like this. It's from a company called Amway. So this foundation is in the shade Natural. I'll link down the um, website link down below so you guys can check out their products and if you guys want to buy this. I'm not really positive how much this one was. Again, I'll put it down in the description. The consistency is kind of like not really thick, but it's, it's kind of like airy and just, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but a tiny bit does go a long way. It does give you a bit of a dewy finish, so if you, like, you have to set it with powder if you want it matte. 
and I say it gives great coverage. I have used it in some of my videos. I have used it in I have used it in some of my um, previous makeup videos and I say that it's a pretty great foundation. It lasts you a pretty long time because you only need a little bit of it to really get that full coverage and I would say with this I wouldn't build up the layers because it can get a little bit cakey if you use too much of it but if you use a little bit of it it will give you great coverage and um, it really brightens up your skin and it'll give you a nice natural finish but again if you use too much of this it can get cakey so be careful with that moving on to um, the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This is what the bottle looks like. It's just... And this is in the shade 4.0, which is like an olive um, undertone. It says it's a weightless, ultra-definition liquid makeup. And I would say that the foundation is very thin and liquidy. I went into Sephora and I had the foundation matcher, I don't know what it's called, but I got matched with either the NARS one or this one and the lady, she recommended this one that it would be better and she tried it on and it was absolutely beautiful, like my skin looked absolutely flawless. and. It just compelled me to buy it so I bought this one and it's a great foundation but I I use it with the Urban Decay optical blurring brush too so it's like meant for it and the thing about this foundation is that it is medium coverage so it won't immediately hide your dark spots or acne spots layer on this product to really get that full coverage and feels really weightless like it says it's a weightless foundation and it does feel really natural and give you a natural nice finish and glow the only thing I didn't like about this product is, is that you do have to layer it on to get full coverage and it is Kind of expensive it's forty dollars I mean I would buy it again I really do like this foundation and it leaves a really natural nice glow on your face the last high-end product is the bare minerals bare skin foundation and this is a brightening foundation so it is really luminous like once you put it on and this is in the shade bare nude is 09. You only need a couple drops to do the job and has the consistency of the Urban Decay one. It is really lightweight as well as the Urban Decay one. It's just really brightening and really makes your skin look a little bit oily, which I'm kind of on the fence about it because I'm not sure if I like this foundation. Or if I don't, I'm just like in the middle about it. It is, I believe, 30 bucks. It does last a long time. They recommended using it with their foundation brush, which at, it's kind of like the optical blurring brush by Urban Decay, except it's dented in the middle. It's like, I'll probably link the um, brush down below so you guys can see it. And what the lady at the Bare Mineral store told me was that to only put like one or two drops on the brush itself and use the two drops for half of my face, another two drops for the other half of my face. The coverage I would say is pretty good. It's like the Urban Decay, it is medium coverage so it does cover most dark spots but like the darker ones you do need to layer it on a little bit well like four drops for your whole entire face is great and the 
this is what the little thing looks like and the drops let's test that for you guys okay so it's just pretty much like like that would be one drop okay so it is 30 milliliters it is the same amount of product as the urban decay one but it's ten dollars less they only have like a couple shades and this shade is a little bit too olivey for my skin tone but I feel like if you blend it in it will look fine but that is you can't really tell but it's just kind of oily because it is a luminous foundation so you only need a little bit of it or else you'll be like It'll look way too oily and you'll be all shiny and like a disco ball. So that was it for all of the foundations. If you're looking for a drugstore foundation that is really great, I would recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Matte in Poreless. This one gives you great coverage. It doesn't leave you oily. It is, It leaves your skin feeling nice and not cakey. Um, the foundation doesn't move around a lot and it really stays on your face and it is only six dollars so I think that's that's a pretty good deal so this one's my favorite from the drugstore and for the higher end I would recommend the Urban Decay Naked Skin although it doesn't give like full coverage you could layer it on and still look give you that flawless finish without it being cakey and too much for your skin and it doesn't make you oily throughout the day and it wears beautifully so if you're looking for a high-end um, foundation I would suggest the Urban Decay one thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video so yeah I'll see you guys then bye